At the start of the film, we see two snakes, one white and one green. The two snakes are sisters. They appeared young, but they had been alive for over a thousand years. The white snake's name was Sajin. Both snakes were capable of assuming human form. Both snakes come across a boy named Zion on a mountain one day. He was savoring the mountain's flowers. Both are surprised that humans eat flowers. Zion, in fact, came there with his friends in search of herbs. He was alone as he made his way through the mountains. The green snake appears in her natural form and scares him. He falls off the mountain into a river because he is scared. When the white snake sees it, he feels sorry for Zion. She feels sorry for him. She enters the river disguised as a human. She takes a breath into his mouth. He is saved by her. She leaves after assisting him. When Zion awakens, he finds all of his friends gathered around him. He inquires about the young lady who saved his life. According to his friends, we didn't find any girls here. It was all a figment of your imagination. A festival was to be held in the village on the same day. The master of the temple and his friends accompanied him to the festival as well. They were skeptical that monsters would kill humans at this festival. Zion was on his way there with those herbs. As a result, he takes them all with him. On the other hand, the white snake, Sajin, was missing the moment when she aided Zion. By giving him her own breath, she saved his life. She couldn't stop thinking about Zion. In fact, she began to fall in love with him. She expresses her desire to meet that boy to her sister, the green snake. As a result, they both attend the same village festival. The same night, Master and his companions arrived fully prepared. They were aware that monsters could attack humans at any time. In the festival, the green snake meets the master's companion. Because green snake liked him, she wished to make friends with him. I can't talk to you right now, he says, because I'm here to catch the monsters. He had no idea that the girl who had asked him to be her friend was also a monster. The green snake then notices Zion. She approaches him. She informs him that her sister adores him and wishes to meet him. I don't know about your sister, according to Zion. He is confident about not meeting her sister. The green snake is thrown into the river. She pushes his boat to get him to her sister. Suxin confesses her love for him as he approaches. But I love someone else, says Zion. He claims that I have no idea who she is. She rescued me by inhaling her own breath. Sajin realizes he's talking about me when he hears it. He adores me in the same way that I adore him. She returns him to the river to reassure him that she is the girl he loves. She's the one who rescued him. Now Zion was also aware that she was that girl. Some monsters are discovered by the monster's companions. He fights those monsters valiantly. Meanwhile, Master's companion is injured by a monster. As a result, he seeks assistance from his master. The master then arrives to compete with them. He sends them to hell and burns them alive. Sajin returns to Zion's house the following day. Zion is overjoyed to see her in his home. They begin living together and eventually marry each other. The monster had bitten one of Master's companions on the day of the festival. As a result, Master's companion was transforming into the monster. He becomes agitated as a result of it. He was fed up with his life. If he turns into a monster, he will endanger humans. As a result, he was planning to commit suicide in a remote location. The green snake appears just as he was about to do it. She inquires as to why he is performing such an act. She prevents him from doing so. To which he responds, I'll turn into a monster. I cannot become a threat to humans. As a result, I intend to commit suicide. When he hears it, the green snake informs him of her reality. She demonstrates her snake tongue. She tells you not to worry if you turn into a monster because she too is a monster. Following that, we see Master leaving for the village. There, he discovers a slew of monster victims. They were in trouble and had to deal with it. As a result, Zion used to make herbs to save their lives. Sajin, on the other hand, was aware that the monsters were attacking them. They are extremely dangerous and powerful. It is not possible to heal them solely with herbs. Sajin thus presses into those medicinal plants in order to save the lives of his husband and those people. Sajin had a friend in the form of a rat. What are you doing, Sajin? It asks. Don't you realize that your exhalation poses a risk to you? It will weaken you. Sajin, on the other hand, was eager to assist his husband and others. 
When Zion forces the villagers to drink the herb fluid, they begin to heal. It astounds the master, because, according to him, curing these people was impossible. But when he sees them healing, he is taken aback and perplexed. He asks Zion if anyone assisted him in the preparation of these herbs. To which he responds, Yes, my wife guided me. Master admits that his wife was a monster rather than a normal human. As a result, he gives Zion a holy knife for his protection. Then Master departs for Sujin. He inquires as to why she is acting in this manner. Despite being a monster, you married a human. Why do you live among them as if you were human? I'm not going to say anything to you because you're a good monster. You should get out of Zion as soon as possible. Otherwise, the conclusion would be unsatisfactory. I'm going to kill you. The master walks away after saying it. When ex Zion returns home at night, he brings a medicated wine with him. It is effective against snake venom. Sujin, on the other hand, was a snake. Zion forces her to drink the wine as well. She begins to feel strange after drinking it, and her condition worsens. She shuts herself away in a room. Zion inquires as to why she is behaving in this manner. Or, if you're upset with me. Sujin loses control and transforms into a snake. The master also arrives to apprehend her. They are facing each other. Zion stabs her with the holy knife given to him by the master. He had no idea this white snake was his wife. Sujin visits her sister, the green snake, after being stabbed. She was unable to transform into human form again after being stabbed by a holy knife. She'll always be a snake. Zion inquires about the master's wife. According to master, this white snake was your wife. You married a snake that is 1,000 years old. He is taken aback when he realizes the truth. Sujin's rat informs Zion about a herb that has the potential to save Sujin's life. However, obtaining the herb is risky and dangerous. Because monsters have taken up residence there. Regardless, Zion goes there to look for the herb. Monsters, on the other hand, loom over Zion. All of the master's companions try to save Zion. Rat goes and gives Sujin the herb that saves her life. She could now revert to human form. She attacks the master and his companions as she recovers. She realized they were trying to separate her from Zion. She transports Zion to a specific location. She inquires as to his well-being, but he has lost his memory. He couldn't recall anything, not even his wife Sujin. Sujin inquires of the master, what did you do with my husband Zion? Because he has forgotten about me. However, his recollection returns quickly, and he returns to normalcy. However, because Sujin was a creature, Master uses his powers to construct an ancient house. He enslaves her in it indefinitely. It was extremely difficult for her to leave the house. Zion spends his entire life outside the house waiting for his wife. Master's companion had also turned into a monster, albeit a good one. He spent the rest of his life with the monsters. The film concludes here. Thank you for your time.